The fundamental reason that alignment is hard is because you've got to take the AI that's weak enough that you can fiddle with it and, and align it and, and do all that to it. And then that AI gets more powerful. And then whatever cockamamie theory you had, has got to hold together, everybody's dead. Because if it goes wrong inside the AI that is smart enough to kill everyone, it'll kill everyone. So you can't just like, oh yeah, that's super intelligence. Uh, our, our clever alignment theory didn't work. It killed everyone. Back to the drawing board, let's build another one. If we had as many decades as we needed and as many tries as we needed, we would solve it eventually. The whole field of artificial intelligence used to be like this. People would try one thing after another and nothing would work, but their failures didn't kill them or everyone. So they just kept trying and trying and they eventually found a thing that worked. And if we could do the same thing with aligning superintelligence, it would be in some sense, ultimately an ordinary sort of science problem. But you know, if we just got unlimited retries, we could solve it. So the difficult part is calling the shot. You're gonna like build this thing that has never before been seen on earth. You're going to align it when it's small and safe and you're allowed to mess with it. It's gonna get more powerful. It's gonna stay aligned. And you think that whatever clever theory you have is just gonna work on the first shot. This is not a problem for humans. It might not be that far above human. Like maybe if you're just like 15 IQ points or 30 IQ points smarter than John von Neumann, yeah, you know, probably the smartest person who ever lived, though it's hard to be sure. It feels in some senses like we're almost there.